Hey guys, Weapon Game Back being another video today for our Weapon Conversion Series, and today we're going to be turning the brand new rifle unlocked in Season 3 of the Battle Pass at Tier 31, the SKS, into the Fab Defense SKS stock chassis system. So, go ahead and show you how to convert this weapon, then we're going to jump in-game, take a look at the recoil pattern, and then see how it handles in-game against bots. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. So here we're back out, and you can see the final design that we're using here for the SKS, converting it into the Fab Defense SKS system so let's go ahead and back out now again this is the sks unlocked at tier 31 of the battle pass so let me go ahead really quick and jump out and show you guys where this is on the battle pass so if you can see here you get it at tier 31 which i bought into the 2400 card points to get up to tier 20 of the battle pass and then basically just played today to get up to the sks which you unlock here at tier 31 so best way to level up is basically play warzone time played you're going to go through these tiers pretty quick especially with some of the double xp and tier weekends that they'll have going forward but you can see here the base sks at tier 31 of the season 3 battle pass so let's go ahead now and back out go back to our conversion that we're going to cover here for the fab defense sks stock chassis so let's go ahead and go to a custom game where we have this weapon set up here we have the fab defense SKS. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and strip this down to the base SKS that comes with something you can see here. This looks more so like a Tapco Industries uh, system for the SKS. We'll get into that in a, in a later video. But this is the base SKS that you unlock at tier 31. So what we're going to do to convert this into the Fab Defense chassis system SKS is first off, we're going to go ahead and select the optic. So the optic here. We're going to use a variable zoom, but one thing to note, you do have a PU scope here. Now, this is based off the real-life real, real life Russian PU scope, which did come on the SKS as well as many other rifles. So that is an option. This does replace the sniper scope for this rifle. But we're going to go ahead and select the SKS. So the PU scope, you get a 7x zoom. On the variable zoom, you get a 3.5 to an 8x zoom. So you get that magnification level and the magnification level toggle, as well as the cons here just being 88 ADS speed because we're adding extra weight to the weapon. So go ahead and select that. Now the key attachment to make this weapon is going to be the FTAC Hunter stock. So this is going to assist with the aiming stability, the cons being aim walking movement speed. So much like the, the M14 in game, the different stocks change the whole chassis of the weapon. And here we have the FTAC Hunter, which is going to help turn this into the Fab Defense SKS stock chassis system with the GL core stock. So we'll go ahead and select that. Now we're going to go ahead for the perk. I'm going to go ahead and put on full metal jacket. We're not going to utilize all of our all of our attachments for all five slots. So we'll go ahead and put on the full metal jacket perk just to take up an extra slot here and obviously add extra penetration. Now for the ammunition, you have 30 round magazine as well as an option for a 10. We're going to leave it at the base magazine, which just is a 20 round magazine for the SKS in 7.62 by 39 millimeter. Now for the underbarrel, I'm going to go ahead and add a commando foregrip on this just how I'm going to be using it. The other options are going to be, obviously, you can use a bipod, and this would allow you to have better crouch and recoil, crouch and prone recoil control on the weapon. Then you also have the different foregrips with the Merc, Ranger, and the Operator foregrip. So for this purposes of this weapon, this is really personal preference. I'm going to use the Commando foregrip. This is going to assist with recoil stabilization and aiming stability, with the cons being movement speed, but we are not taking any bumps to the ADS speed. As well as the same, you won't take an ADS bump to the tactical foregrip as well as the bipod if you want to utilize any of those based on your play style. So we'll go ahead and use the commando foregrip on this weapon. And those are all the attachments I'm going to use for this. Obviously, just to show you quick some of the different attachments for the muzzle device, we're going to leave the base muzzle, which comes standard with the SKS. But you can see you have all these different attachments that we're used to in game. You have a monolithic suppressor there. Different barrel options. You have an FTAC landmark, which is going to be the short barrel you have a even shorter 16 inch fss para barrel and then you have the longest version for the sks being the 22 meter fss m5966 which is the m59 slash 66 is the yugoslavian version of the sks which is reproduced in many countries so this is the barrel length on the yugoslavian version you can see here how this would assist with this weapon at more range so if you're really trying to get range with this weapon this is the one you want However, the base barrel is going to it's gonna do fine just for the purposes of this video to replicate the Fab Defense SKS stock chassis system. Other options, you have attack laser, which would go on the right-hand side of the end of the barrel here for the, for the gun. And then also for stocks, we'll be covering these in other 
uh, conversion videos, but you have the SKS rifle stock, which again is going to change the whole chassis system, as well as the sawed off stock, which is going to do the same thing there as well. So we're going to leave the FTAC Hunter to turn this into the Fab Defense SKS stock chassis system, and we're going to stay with the standard 20 round magazine. Here is the final design. We have something very similar to a GL core stock on this weapon. You can see it is slightly angled. You have the adjustable cheek rest there on the back top of the butt pad. You also have a a rail mounted Picatinny rail system, which looks like something from Midwest, Midwest Industries, probably over the dust cover there to mount the scope. You also have Picatinny's on the top and bottom of the handguard. Now, with a real Fab Defense SKS chassis system, you would have Picatinny's on the left and right hand side too. Looks like we may have some sort of M lock here almost, but again, a lot of these conversions in Call of Duty are not 100% exact. There are some minor differences that you can notice with a lot of these guns, but also the chassis system that we're getting here for the stock option is also going to change just notably the pistol grip on this weapon so if i were to just deselect this quick you can see what this looks like with the same attachments at base so you can see we have somewhere somewhere similar to like a zenit uh, rk3 or even something kind of similar to like an ak12 pistol grip that we see on the steel curtain version of the ak47 and then if we select the ftac hunter for the fab defense stock chassis system with the GL core stock. You can see those changes there to make it into a more modernized, Americanized version of the SKS. And those are the final designs. We do not notice we don't have any grip tape for the pistol grip of the weapon as an attachment on this weapon, but those are all of the weapon attachments for the Fab Defense SKS stock chassis system to convert from the SKS base in game, unlocked at tier 31. So let's go ahead now, jump in game, see how this handles in game with a recoil pattern, and then we'll check out how it handles in game against bots. Now one thing just to note, I am gonna actually adjust it. I'm gonna put a 22 inch FFS M5966 barrel on this weapon for the rest of this video. So it's not covered in the recoil demonstration, but it is gonna be covered here when we use it in game. So what this is gonna do is add the damage at range, bullet velocity and recoil control, the cons being ADS speed and movement speed. So this is a 22 inch barrel versus the base 20 inch barrel that comes with the weapon. It's gonna increase our headshot, one shot, headshot kill at a range as well as the overall damage at range. So we'll go ahead and put that on. Now this is the final design we're gonna be using here. You won't see it in the recoil pad and test, but it's not gonna drastically affect it. You can see with the pros on the weapon, recoil control is gonna help us a little bit on there, but it's not gonna drastically affect the recoil if I, if I have used it in game. So let's go ahead and get a game now and see how it handles. Okay, now that we're in game with our Fab Defense SKS chassis stock system, let's go ahead and check out the recoil pattern with this weapon. So what I'm gonna do is just aim, I'm gonna use the lowest variable here at the 3.5, and we're just gonna let this rip, a fire a couple shots, and we'll just check out the recoil pattern on the weapon. And I'm not gonna hold my breath. So you can see, those are pretty tight for not controlling my recoil or holding my breath at all. So now I'm gonna do a shift over. I'll hold my breath on these nine shots and try and control it. So let's see, there you can see it's almost even worse versus controlling it. So let's try it once more. I'm going to hold my breath now and control at an eight times zoom. There you see very little recoil on the weapon if you control your burst. Let's try it once more. I'm just gonna fire this, holding my breath as fast as I can. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at it. Take a look at our recoil patterns here. So here we have not controlling it at a 3.5 zoom, controlling it at a 3.5 zoom, controlling it at an eight, and then controlling it at, not controlling it at an eight, but we're controlling it at an eight with holding our breath, but firing as fast as we can. So that is the Fab Defense SKS conversion for the SKS. So you can see, you can really control the rate of fire the way you want. If I wanna be very accurate, I can be. Or if I wanna fire off shots faster, I can do that as well. But again, this is our Fab Defense SKS stock chassis system with the GL Core stock on the weapon. Let's go ahead now, jump in game and see how it handles in game against bots. Okay, now that we're in game with our Fab Defense SKS stock chassis system with the GL Core stock, let's go ahead and see how it handles in game here against bots. So first off, what I'm gonna do is try to utilize this 
It has intended as an SKS designated marksman type rifle or an assault carbine. So you see one shot hit, killed to the head right there. Reposition, try and get on the flank. So again, this is unlocked at tier 31 of the battle pass. So the SKS is based off is designed by the by Sergei Simonov. It is a Soviet era semi-automatic carbine. So let's go ahead now and see if we can get back in position. So this is again unlocked at tier 31 of the battle pass in season three. <clears throat> so this is going to be the second rifle released in season three. First off being this Renetti or the M93R, which I'm carrying here, which we'll be covering in a future video. There we go. Now we have that 22 inch barrel on here. We didn't use it in the recoil pattern test, but we're using it here and it's gonna increase our damage at range with this rifle. So there you can see, how fast I'm able to get shots off with this variable zoom scope from the three to the eight times or the three and a half to the eight times sights on this. I'm able to utilize it at even close range there, even though I ideally shouldn't be using it like that with how we have it built, but that's how what we can do it. You can see how effective it is with that seven six two by thirty nine millimeter round on the rifle. And there we have a one shot kill to the head. Come in actual, send recall. So again, you can see just how deadly this kind of this rifle is on and again, this is unlocked for free at tier 31 for season three of the Battle Pass, with the first one being the Renetti pistol here that I'm utilizing, which we'll be covering in a future video as well. This one's dead. Darn, had a nice streak going there. But again, this is a Soviet era rifle, a SAR carbine or a semi-automatic carbine. Designed by the Soviet Union, it was put in place in service in 1945. It was utilized at the very end of World War II just for trials in the very last battles of the war. Uh, it did see service thereafter put in official service in 1948, only to be almost immediately put out of service by the AK-47 when that came into service in 1948 and was and replaced the SKS in that role. And obviously that's been the main Russian rifle ever since 1948 when it was officially adopted and put in service in place of the SKS. But this obviously, with the conversion kit we have here, turning this into the Fed Defense SKS stock chassis system with what's well, very similar to GL Core stock as we discussed with the adjustable cheek rest. It looks very similar, not 100% the same as Call of Duty Modern Warfare with a lot of the uh, conversion attachments that we get on the weapons are not 100% to spec with real life, probably due to uh, copyrights or something along those lines. But you can see there just how deadly this is. We're utilizing this more as a DMR, but we can use it up close since we do have that variable zoom scope to go from a three and a half to even a eight times sights on this. So let me go ahead. Now guys, this was using many conflicts. Over 15 million units were, produ per were produced uh, worldwide. And that's going to be over 2 million by the Soviets alone. And then it, there was export licenses where it was produced in Yugoslavia, China, Romania, and many other countries like that. So over 15 million, million units worldwide, utilizing many conflicts throughout the world. Let's see if we can... Target marked. Bring it down. This is Phoenix 3. Good copy. Strike and bomb. Now, the design started in 1944. The mass of the actual real-life SKS, the Fed Defense chassis we have here, is a little bit lighter than the the uh, original variation of this, but the original SKS is going to have a mass of 8.5 pounds, or 3.85 kilograms. Let's see if we can get this. Oh, no. Oh, I almost got him there with that M93R. 
Now the length of the rifle overall for the base SKS is going to be 40 inches. Now for the M5966, which utilizes a 22 inch barrel, which we're using that barrel here, it's going to be 44 inches in total, adding an extra few inches that due to the longer barrel on the weapon. Now the barrel, bringing me to the barrel length, the original SKS had a 20 inch barrel or a 520 millimeter barrel and the M5966 variations, which is a Yugoslavian variation and we're using that barrel here had a 22 inch barrel, which we just discussed. Whoa. Getting lit up from range. Let's see if we can get eyes on. I am not sure where this is coming from. Now, if we have like a monolithic suppressor on this to even help, even further help our damage at range, we'd be able to uh, one-shot that guy at that range there. And then we see our new pistol. Oh boy! Oh my God! Worst aim ever. Now the cartridge for the SKS is a 762 by 39 M43. As we discussed, the action is a short stroke gas piston tilting bolt self-loading rifle so it can be self-loaded also uh is one of the attachments for this not in game but in real life it, can, it was initially a self-loading rifle and then obviously we have magazine attachments for this weapon in real life as we have here in the game as well so the rate of fire is going to be 30 through 40 rounds per minute muzzle velocity whoa muzzle velocity is going to be 735 meters per second or 2400 feet per second on the rifle requesting recon flyover there we go with our Beretta M93R. Again, we'll be covering that in a future video. Oh, that was horrible aim right there. Now, the muzzle velocity has said 2,400, just about 2,411 feet per second. There we go. The effective range is 400 meters or 440 yards, and the feed system is a 10 round mag. Also has the capability for the 20 round, which we have here, as well as a 30 round. And that is the SKX. So let me know what you guys think down below. I mean, this thing handles really, really well. I, we'll put, when I put a monolithic suppressor on this in game, it's super deadly at range. You can really hit one shot headshots from great distances. Uh, making this, I, you know, in my mind, I am not one, I'm not a big fan of the bolt action marksman rifles, but this, this being semi-auto, definitely I feel is way better hands down than the Dragon Off is. But let me know if, when you guys unlock this. Obviously the rate of fire is much faster with this than the Dragon Off. The recoil is much less. And you're able to get shots on target in my mind a lot easier. And also there's a nice headshot that we have that we can utilize at that range. There we go. So again, this is unlocked for free at tier 31 in the battle pass. Let me know if you guys have unlocked this yet, if you've played around with it at all, what you guys think of it. I think by, like I said, by, in my mind, this is one of the best uh, marksman rifles in the game. I know I did a video on the M4, the 458 SOCOM rounds the other day, converting it into something close to an SR-25, and I think this is going to probably do, uh, I'm imagining, better damage. I think we have essentially a very similar cartridge to the FAL, uh, which is that 762 by 51 which is a better uh, damage than the SR-25 in Warzone. So I'm really looking forward to unlocking the right attachments for this to utilize it in Warzone effectively and see how it handles uh, with this 22-inch barrel as well as the monolithic suppressor. So you can see there, my accuracy not the best, but you can see how how deadly this thing is even at close range. So if you're gonna, there's obviously options to run this uh, as a run and gun variant where you can do it much better than you could with uh, say the M14 in game. So I'm looking forward to playing around with that too in the future. Let's see. So let me know what you guys think of this rifle. This is a conversion of the SKS base unlocked at for free at tier 31 of the battle pass into the fab defense. SK modernized SKS with the GL core bot stock let me know what you guys think down below let me know what kind of conversions you want to see with this or the, even the renetti pistol there's a couple different options we can do here 
And I think this is, is season three had a lot to cover. They had mill center operators. There's a bunch to go over. So I'll be doing those in future videos. But I really wanted to get this SKS video out for you guys as soon as we could. So again, this is the Fab Defense SKS stock chassis system by Fab Defense USA with a GL core stock or at least something very similar to it. And here you can see just the rate of fire that close range you're able to spit out is really nice. So again, let me know what you guys think down below. Until next time, Buffner Gaming, out.